Hey guys, um, I had a good amount of people uh, for my little sorbet so that they want to learn how to curl hair um, in three minutes or less. This is what I literally do every single day. Um, so I actually had my hair curled yesterday and I just brushed it out using my wet brush, which this guy, as you can tell, has been through a lot. Anywho, first and foremost, um, the most important thing, um, make sure you prep your hair with some kind of heat protectant. Also, I apologize, I'm like losing my voice. I just got done working a seven day work week and I'm kind of like, I'm pooped. Um, I like to use when my hair is wet, um, like I said, heat protectant, okay? I either use, let me get it, the Kenra blow dry spray. It smells like coconuts. It's the best, it's heavenly. Or I use the Visay. Damage the leave in, love them both. Um, I mean, this one helps protect your hair from um, UV rays and pollution and the whole nine. This one is whoa, this one is a thermal protector. This one protects up to I don't know, I can't find it. It's a pretty high heat, um, and it actually helps your hair dry in like 50% quicker. So, which is like, it cuts half that time out, people. Do it too. You don't need to use both at once. Um, pick one or the other, whatever. Whatever kind of heat protector. I don't care what it is. Just, we're not trying to cook our hair. We're trying to have pretty hair. All right. So, after you have your hair blow dried, like I said, I already had, I washed my hair yesterday. I don't wash it every day. I probably only wash my hair every, like, three to five days because it's naturally curly and obviously very lightened. Um, I like to use... The Joico Ironclad, um, I think that they have renamed this and rebranded it. This is one of their old bottles. Now they're all like pretty and like this now. Um, but I think it's just called their thermal spray now. But again, protect your hair. We're not cooking it, okay? What I like to do is I go through and I spray to give myself extra protection. And this will actually help hold the curl if you are someone where the curl does not hold very well. I just ate it a little bit. You would think after 14 years I'd be used to eating hairspray or any kind of spray for that matter. All right, make sure you comb it through. You can already see it kind of just seals the hair in a little bit. Um, make sure you also have some kind of clip. I just, I don't do anything fancy. I'm not a fancy person. I'm just not. Okay. Also, everybody is different. This may take, if you have more hair than me, it might take you more curls. If you have less hair, obviously less. I know, I'm kind of like all over the place. Anyway. And a hair. Um, I always split my hair. I try to divide it. Like, obviously not a perfect part, but part it in some kind of way. Take a clip, you're gonna grab a chunk of hair. You always wanna try to start from the back, just make it easier. And like I said, once you get the hang of this, you're gonna be able to do it in like literally like three minutes or less. I can do my hair without even thinking about it anymore, okay? Um, I generally like to use a one inch curling iron. Um, so that even with longer hair, unless your hair is like down to your butt, I mean, you can see the length of my hair, even pulling it out straight. The trick is you want it to be a little bit tighter than you actually want your hair to be. Okay. Cause you want it to be able to fall throughout the day. You're going to see, we're going to wring it out and you know, if it's already loose, you're going to be wringing it out basically into nothing, which that defeats the purpose. Um, if you want more of the Kardashian curls, okay, you're going to take your curling iron and you're going to roll everything backwards away from your face, the, the whole head. If you want that big, bouncy, think Kim and Chloe and Courtney, think all them, okay? If you want more beachy or messy, like that's generally what I do. What we're going to do is I start at the, like towards the root of the hair, okay? 
Um, and again, everyone's hair is different. Like I can grab this. I have a lot of hair, but it's very fine texture. So I can grab a little bit more. I try not to grab the same amount in every section because you want it to look very natural. You are gonna start at the root and you're gonna roll backwards, okay? You're going to leave a couple inches out. That's what, you, that's what it's gonna look like, okay? Leave it out. Again, we're doing beachy. You're gonna take your next section Make sure it's comb. You can finger comb it if you have a brush, whatever. Again, this is for all you all that are trying to get out of the house as quick as possible, like myself. Now, instead of rolling backwards, we're going to roll towards our face. So grab it and roll. Leave some out. Drop. Okay. Um. I typically do my curling iron at a little bit of a higher heat. I think right now we're at 23 on this, 23, 25, which is like one of the highest. I do that with my hair. I'm not saying you do it with your hair, okay? My hair is different. My hair can take a lot. It's really tough. Not everybody can do that. Um, that's why I also like to tell people, use as much thermal protection as possible, okay? Remember, we're not trying to cook our hair. We're not cooking chicken. We're not, you know what I'm saying? We're not doing that. We're just trying to have pretty hair. Okay, grab your next section. I always start with the curls in the front going away from my face because it just, I just, I hate hair on my face, to be honest with you. You're going to grab and do the same thing. And you see how I don't really necessarily have to hold it too terribly long. Then roll forward. <laughs> okay. You're going to keep doing this all through the head. So that's only four curls right there, okay? Now, if you want it to be more beachy, put more curls in it, okay? I just pretty much want as quick as possible. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I'm like the hairdresser that doesn't like to do their own hair. And I don't know if that's just because I've been doing it for so long and I'm kind of like, Meh. I just want to be done with it already. Or it's because I'm chasing after my, my gremlin at home. So that is what four, five, six, seven. That's seven curls on that side, okay? Also, a really important tip, let your cor the curls cool down. Don't just immediately wring them out, all right? We don't want that. It won't hold. It will not hold. I see a lot of people where they spend all this time curling their hair and then immediately they wring their fingers through it or brush it or comb it or whatever that they're doing. It doesn't hold and that is why. Okay. All right. Now this side, this is my personal preference because you're going to see when you do it yourself, you're going to kind of be like awkward. I personally start this side and I roll it forward. I don't know why. I just do. So I just, I don't really know why. You can see like that section I just grabbed was a little bit too big and you see how it's not really forming how the other ones did. So if you do something like that, you can just kind of take it, pick it apart, okay? We're almost done, look. Very minimal effort. This side again, I roll this forward. Now when I do clients, I do, like I said, I do the front one, the very first front one, I always do it backwards and I roll it backwards. All myself, I like I said, I don't really know why I go forward but I just do just my personal preference and it works for my dome piece and definitely when you first start doing this practice 
you know, doing this at a, like I said, a lower heat. I do a higher heat. I put a lot of stuff in my hair to protect it. My hair is very resilient. Um, I'm not saying to do that with your hair. Don't, and everyone does this differently. Everyone has different hair. It might take you a little bit more curl, might take you a little bit less, but. Okay. And this guy, break him into two, because I want a little bit curlier. And one. All right, so now I have my whole head curled already. All right, we are going to let, let it sit. This side's already cooled off. This side is not yet, so we'll just let it kind of cool off. While that cools off, um, I will show you. Generally what I do, okay, like I said, I don't wash my hair every day. Generally what I do is I use a dry shampoo in my hair the very first day I wash it and it helps give me volume because um, it gives like a little bit of grit and it stops all those like that grease and oil from getting to be too much. I hear a lot of people, they say like, oh, I can't go without a day with washing and that's perfectly fine. Not everybody can. Um, but I'm just saying, try that. I think it'll change your life. It is a game changer. I like to use Joico weekend hair um, or I like to use Amika. I like to use theirs. I can't remember the top on my head what theirs is called um but they have a dry shampoo that i love um so for this part you are gonna want a texture spray these are my go-to's i mean this was my favorite but this is a close second this is the amika undone oh my god if you have not tried amika just run to the store go get it it is amazing this it smells like heaven oh my god i love it like I can't say enough about it. The Moroccan oil, love it too. Like, like I just really like this one, and it's also really pretty to look at. Like, look, at, look how cute that is. But this one, it still works absolutely amazing. It smells amazing. I feel like with this one, if you use a little too much, it can get a little gritty. Uh, I think that's why I prefer this one too a little bit more, because I feel like if you do accidentally use a smidge bit too much, it's a little bit more forgiving. Um, but you're going to want a texture spray. It is amazing. All right. We are all officially cooled off. You are going to want to flip your head. Okay. And wring it out with your fingers. This is going to create volume. And it's just going to piece it out. Okay. At this point, I like to take, I'll use my Moroccan oil. I like to take a little bit in my texture spray and spray it underneath. Give her a little shaky poo. And then what you're gonna wanna do is kind of toss her around a little bit. Like, this is not meant to be perfect looking. We don't want prom hair. We have all gotten past that. Do a little short burst down and ring it. This side. The texture spray is just gonna help piece it out more. And like I said, it gives it a grit. It helps give you volume. And voila. This is legit how I do my hair every day. And like I said, I can go a few days without having to do it. And if you want a little bit more, like I said, I don't have dry shampoo in my hair right this second. Um, normally it'll give me a little bit of grit and I will put more dry shampoo in my hair. This is also will give you volume. Put her in. Look at that. So easy, right? I'm all about easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I hope that is helpful. And like, this is my first video I ever made. So like, uh, bear with me because this is all new to me. I'm trying, I'm trying. Just remember, important, heat protection. Heat protection before you blow dry it. Heat protection before you actually put any kind of hot tool, whether it's a flat iron, a curling iron. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's your clothing iron. Like we used to do back in the day, put something on there, do not cook your hair. 
the very first curl backward, then next one forward. So back, clip forward and away, and then grab it and roll towards your face if you want messy beachy. These are the texture sprays that I like, the Moroccan oil and the uh, Mika. Love them, love them. And I will put like a, I'll write down what I use underneath here, okay? And like I said, the, I use the Iron Clod. I'm pretty positive it's not named this anymore, so I'll figure out what that one is. And then the Blow Dry Spray by Kenra, and Defy Damage by Draco. Those are my go-tos. I hope that's helpful, guys. If you have any questions let me know yeah and even with the texture spray if you're feeling a little just you want a little bit more um just go in from underneath i hope you all enjoyed that thanks for bearing with me enjoy the rest of your day